In June 1954, Kelly Johnson initially briefed the U.S. Air Force with his CL-2 in an 82 design, which resulted in the U-2, but Curtis Lemay, the head of the Strategic Air Command, walked out during the CL-282 presentation, saying that he was not interested in an aircraft without wheels or guns. Lockheed took this criticism to heart, yet they didn't modify the U-2's landing gear or install any guns, instead, they focused on developing missiles. Lockheed suggested a brand new U-2 version known as the 315B. The ADM-53 Condor long-range air-to-surface missiles on board the 315B U-2 would allow it to target adversary warships up to 60 miles away. But sadly, the ADM-53 Condor missile was plagued by problems and failures, including an unstable propulsion system and exorbitant costs for developing a strong data link for the missile. The program was terminated in 1976 before any of the 250 missiles that were originally expected to be delivered that year could be. The 315B U-2 Lockheed envisioned would never enter service, just as the missiles that would arm it.